All right, here we go. We are here. Hey, I'm Lee. Nice meeting you. Nice Thanks to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, my God. Look at these guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hi. It's noise. Hi. So this is a husky. What, what's the kind of dog? Husky Great Pyrenees, I think. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. I'm gonna let them out, okay? Has she ever been given babies? She ever had babies? No, great. Oh, she's spayed. Yeah. Great job, man. Yeah. Great oh, job. Cool. Both of them are spayed. Huh? Okay. Come on. Come on. Would you mind grabbing him for me? Come on, you're all right. Perfect. Good job. Say, I don't really want to pick you up. You're pretty big. Come on. Halfway. Okay. Whoa. Oh my God. If it doesn't work out, you can get it. It's okay. It'll work out. It'll work out. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I just want them to be loved. Oh, uh, they're cool. You're going to be 100%, man. Okay. You do the right thing. Yeah, because uh, they're my babies. I just unfortunate I need to move on with my life. I understand. Yeah. Okay. We all hit tough times, brother. It, it, it happens. Yeah. They're, they're going to be. They're going to be fine. I promise. Okay. All right. <laughs> this one looks like Bentley. You look like Bentley. <laughs> Hi, puppy. <laughs> this is not the cutest dog you've ever seen. I don't think these dogs have ever been inside of a home before. All right, guys, we're gonna head back to the sanctuary now. You're okay, baby. You're okay, babies. She is really nervous, especially this one. Gave them some CBD. Hopefully that calms them, calms them down a little bit, but they're very, very stressed out. So we just got back to the sanctuary, by the way. We're on my driveway. The sun just came out, so that's a good sign. So now I'm gonna let the rest of the pack out, take them for a quick pack walk, and then do the introduction. They're pretty anxious. I might I might uh, just let them out, let them chill out, and then do the pack walk. So here we are. Come here, love. Come here. Looks like Bentley now. Uh, they originally told me Lab Husky, but I don't, I don't know, maybe Lab Great Pyrenees, but looks, she looks like a Great Pyrenees to me. Oh, Bloodhound, she's so big, my goodness, she's really humongous. Keeping the energy low. Good job, guys. I think it's, I'm gonna take them for a quick pack walk. All right, guys, so I'm not going to bring them on a pack walk. I'm going to bring, I'm going to let the puppy come with us because she's already sticking by us, uh, me and the dogs. But the other two are very, very uncertain. Rosa's creating some, some tension. So I'm just going to let them rest in here. It's all fenced in here. And they're going to be able to roam around. And what this will do is allow them to smell all the dogs, calm down a little bit, get some water, go to the bathroom. And then after the dogs and I do our pack walk, I'll come back and I'll get them. And I'm going to uh, bring them into the house and give them a bath, shower. Here they are here. So they're already looking much better. Hi, guys. There you go. Yeah, he's a good girl. There you go. Wagging her tail. This is good. First time I'm seeing it. Now they're starting to calm down. They just needed some space away from the pack. And then I'll introduce all of them. Already part of the pack. And the other two, they're right there, you see. I want them to really see the pack and get comfortable. And they'll join us soon. But for now, especially the Great Pyrenees, because she'll wander without question, just like Bentley does. Um, I just want them to really smell their surroundings, smell the environment, see all the dogs and stuff like that. This is their new home. 
Not bad, guys. Not bad. Come on, guys. Look, that's a good sign. Excited to see us. We like that. We like that. Good to see ya. You'll definitely come next time. You'll be coming tomorrow. I promise you that. Let's get them inside. We're gonna get them inside. I'm gonna give them a nice shower. We'll be fresh. And I have no doubt this will be the puppy's first time and definitely their first time sleeping inside of a house. All right, guys, let's do it. Come on, you're right. Come on. Come on. Good job, come on. Good job, come on. You're okay. Come on. It's okay. It's okay, come on. All right. Good job. Come on. Come on. You're okay. Come on. <laughs> they're afraid to come inside. I don't think they've ever been inside. There you go. There you go. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Come on. Oh. You're okay. Oh my God. Yeah. Move them. I let them settle in, guys. Look, this one's already back outside. So, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I'll give them a bath first thing in the morning. I'm gonna let them settle in and relax. I'm gonna settle in with them and relax. And uh, I'll give them a nice shower in the morning. Welcome home, guys. Take it easy, guys. Uh, enough, 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 enough. All right, let's just relax, watch the movie. Let's enjoy the Saturday. Let's enjoy a nice Saturday, okay? Lily, take it easy. You know, I, I've done a lot of rescue missions recently, and I just want you to know, um, I know it's hard not to judge people for giving up their dog, but a lot of you, I always say how you want to get into animal rescue and you want to do this. And I got to tell you, that's the one thing that you have to do your best, especially when you're there in person, when you know like the story, you know, people are saying they're my babies and I love them and they're so important. Let me know if it doesn't work. You know, you know, it's all crap. And it's important just to get the surrender paperwork, you know, not judge be as compassionate as you possibly can. Sometimes it's harder than others. And the, the goal is to get the dog so you can give that dog the best home. And oftentimes during these adoption processes, when I sense what the situation is, if you know what I mean, I just want to get out of there. I just want to get the paperwork signed and get out of there. Nothing against the people. I just know like, let's, let's get these dogs out of here and bring, them, and bring them back to the sanctuary, back to shelter, safety, things like that. So. Well, it's not always a, a BS story, you know? Sometimes people, of course, really hit hard times and, and I could tell it's so hard for, and they're doing, they're always, no matter what, when someone gives up the dog and they don't want the dog anymore, they're doing the right thing. If they feel, Penny, Penny, if they feel like they can't take care of the dog, you know, it's a terrible, 
you have to live, you have to walk in someone's shoes to truly understand, you know, but 